Hello there and greetings from Person Tylers. This is Mayank Rath Singh bringing to you the set number 52 for our 100 LRDI challenge for CAT. The name of the set is GPA Muddle. Please have a look at the set in the next three slides. And then there are certain additional information. Okay, so hope you have noted it down and uh, you must have tried. Now let me see what we can do. So first thing that I want to do is to convert these marks into the grade points. So taking the help of this table, table number one. So rather than writing A1, A2, B1, B2, I am going to write the grade points because this is what matters the most. So this would be 6, 7, 10, 10, 6, 9 and let's call it small z, 9, 8, 9, let's call it small x, then 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10, 8, 8, let's call this a small y, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 6 and 9. So it was actually easy to understand the pattern in which these grade points are decided against the marks. So if we try to figure out the GPA which has been mentioned to be the average of the five subjects. So the sum of the grade points here for Abhishek is 39. So it's going to be 39 by 5 which is 7.8. Now for Saral it is going to be 35 plus small z. So I'm going to write 7 plus small z by 5. For Himanshu it is 36 plus small x dividing by 5 it will get 7.2 plus a small x by 5. For Puneet there is no variable and the sum of grade points is 44 as you can see. So it is clearly 8.8. .8. For Vijay there is a variable y and uh, the sum of the other four is 30. So 30 plus y dividing by 5 you'll get 6 plus small by y by 5. And for Sanjay there is no variable. Sum of these uh, is um, 42. So it is going to be 8.4. So GPAs of Saral, Himanshu and Vijay are yet unknown because of the variables. But the GPAs of Abhishek, Puneet and Sanjay are clearly known. Now I will start taking points from additional information and the first point that I want to consider is this that the GPAs of Abhishek and Vijay are equal. So Abhishek's GPA I know Vijay, Vijay's GPA should also be 7.8 and for that this Y is supposed to be 9. Y is supposed to be 9 which means that this capital Y will be 81 to 90 any number from 81 to 90. I hope this makes sense all has been taken reference from here Okay, so when you have 81 to 90 you get 9 GP. The second piece of information that I would like to take is The first point the sum of GPAs of Saral and Puneet is equal to that of Himanshu and Sanjay. Okay Saral and Puneet Saral has 7 plus small z by 5. This is Saral's and Puneet is 8.8 .8, will be equal to Himanshu's GPA plus Sanjay's GPA. Now if you actually solve this entire equation you will get that small z plus 1 is equal to small x. Okay, so that means if z is 5 x is 6 if z is 7 x is 8 etc etc. Now there are too many possibilities we need to look at other additional information given. Now the third point that Saral, Himanshu, Puneet and Sanjay get distinct GPAs. So Saral, Himanshu, Puneet and Sanjay got distinct GPAs. Abhishek and Vijay anyway had same GPA. So they are not being talked about. So now we understand that none of X or Z could be such that that Saral or Himanshu get a GP of 8.8 .8, which means X cannot be 8 small x I mean 
and z cannot be 9 so let us see this the possibilities for z now z could have been anything but 7 because if you put z equal to 7 this Searle's GPA would become 8.4 so 7 is not possible if you put z equal to 9 then Searle's GPA will become 8.8 .8 and that is also not possible because Puneet already has 8.8 .8. now z cannot be equal to 10 because then x will have to become 11 from this equation we also understand that uh, according to the fourth point that Himanshu's GPA is supposed to be highest now if Himanshu has highest GPA this x cannot be like 7 6 or 5 okay this x can be like 10 or 9 but if x is 10 z has to be 9 which we have already talked about it is not possible so I think we come to the conclusion that this small x has to be 9 and for that a small z has to be 8 so we already knew that small y is supposed to be 9 small y is 9 small x is also 9 and small z is also 8 so we are done with this part we can erase this so it's clear that if x small x is 9 this is going to become 9 GPA if small z is 8 this is going to become 8.6 GPA and small y we have already figured it out it is 7.8 so we now clearly know the GPA of each and every student all right there is one more thing which is written now if we look at the fourth point once again we'll see that we have used the second part of it already that Himanshu's GPA is the highest but we haven't used the first part as yet which says that Himanshu still does not have the highest score some of the marks in five subjects so let us see who has the highest score since Puneet has a very close but smaller GPA than Himanshu let us figure out the sum of the marks of Puneet so if you add these five numbers Puneet's total score comes out to be 421 now other people have smaller GPAs they have small they have uh, lesser scores than Puneet so I think we we should not care about finding out the sums of marks of Abhishek, Saral, etc, etc. So we can directly come to Himanshu. Now some of the some of the marks in other four subjects Hindi, Math, Science, SSC for Himanshu is coming out to be 313. Now since we know that the small x is 9 and you get grade point of 9 when you have a minimum score of 81 in that subject. So for that matter this capital X is supposed to be 81. So that brings us to the conclusion that the minimum score that Himanshu must have is 414 and the maximum score could be 420 because 421 being the highest score Himanshu cannot have that highest score. So there are seven possibilities. So this capital X according to this can be 81 to 87 seven possibilities all right and the last point is remaining the sum of the marks obtained by six students in science is more than that in exactly three of the other four subjects so we need to figure out the sum of the scores like this also okay so let us find out the sum of the scores in the subjects in which there is no variable so in Hindi it is 470 and in social science it is 462 in the other three there are variables so so maths is 445 plus capital Y science is 391 plus capital Z and English is 374 plus capital X so now we have already talked about uh, this X thing there are seven possibilities that is 81 to 87 which means English some of the six scores in English can be 455 to 461 uh, math similarly could be 526 to 535 Z capital Z can start from 71 to 80 which means this can be 462 to 471 clearly clearly the reach of science is beyond maths it cannot even 
think of being greater than maths so maths is 526 to 535 it is clearly greater than english hindi and social science so to be able to greater than all these three there is only one possible sum of the scores in science which is 471 which implies that this capital z has to be 80 and nothing else there is a unique value of capital z okay so z is 80 there is no second thought about it and capital x we have already seen there are seven possible values and capital y there are still 10 possible values okay now i think we are ready for the questions so the first question which grade is awarded to saral in science okay so we have already seen that it is 8 and 8 was 8 was b1 so b1 it is who gets the second highest gpa it was puneet so puneet gets the second highest gpa what is the sum of the marks obtained by saral in five subjects so we understand why only saral's score has been asked because of the variable z and we have figured out that z has a unique value so let us add 88 plus 79 88 plus 79 plus 87 plus 80 plus 88 and you get 422 so we get a unique score for some of the marks obtained by saral in five subjects and last question is how many values are possible for x we have figured out that there are seven possible values for x so it's none of these then so i hope you could understand this this was a heavily quant based set based on averages and um, hope you understood it if you did not understand a certain part please pause the video and go back and rewind that particular part and do not quit un until and unless you have understood guys you can also join our very active whatsapp and telegram groups if you wish to receive these sets in pdf formats and also if you wish to be a part of various active discussions and uh, question discussions that go on in the group so this is mayank rajsing signing off see you in the next video till then take care be safe